Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. What's good? What's good? What's good? Welcome to Tracy, my life with Tariot. And so today is September 30th. Today is Monday. Time now is 6.42 p.m. Eastern. Okay. So, Virgo, this is going to be a general love reading. <clears throat> and I must say that this is definitely something different. I wasn't really expecting for this reading to kind of turn out like this. Um, and this particular general love reading here that we have today, um, some of you could definitely be dealing with a Gemini or a strong Aries or Pisces that may be um, in your energy right now, maybe even an Aquarius, okay, when it comes to the love factor, okay, um, as far as like present or future. Okay, now I am picking up on some past energy where some of you could have also been dealing with a Pisces, a Scorpio, a Libra. But um, I feel as that when it comes to the past, you are definitely going to be walking away from this energy. But let's kind of get into this here, this love reading. <laughs> okay, general reading. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or wherever you may have Virgo at in your birth chart. Okay. Cross watches, you are definitely welcome to join us. <clears throat> Excuse me, I just got through eating my little dinner, <laughs> you know, before I head out the door. Um, like I said, take what resonate, leave the rest. Please do not force it. Please understand it. Terry, reading is for entertainment purposes only. So, this is going to be your reading for October, okay? And it seems as though in the month of October, Virgos, there is definitely um, a lot of unexpected changes coming in, okay? So, because this is definitely new energy, okay? Because I definitely did not expect to pick up on this particular kind of energy in this year reading. So, allow us to begin, okay? So, let's see what we have going on yeah. here. Um... So what I'm seeing here is that uh, starting out your reading, <laughs> the first card that came out, I have to be real with you guys, is the lovers card, right? And so the next two card, the next two cards that came out behind that lovers card was the sun card with the king of cups. So, you know, I was like, all right, you know, okay, okay, not bad, not bad, right? And then I see the King of Wands with the Empress and the Star card. You know, I'm like, all right, all right, you know, the Emperor, not bad, not bad. And then it was kind of weird. And so the first message that I'm getting here, Virgo, starting out with the Two of Cups and the Page of Cups and the Ten of Cups, it seems as though you can have a Page of Cups and Younger Water Sign don't have to be because some of you are also dealing with masculine energy older when it comes to the King of Cups and the King of Wands as well as the King of Pentacles. But the message that I'm receiving here when it comes to this lover's reading is that uh, you can have a page of cups who view you as being compatible with them. Where there could be a mutual attraction. Where this page of cups is coming in with an unexpected, you know, surprise toward you. Hoping to have a ten of cups. I feel like when it comes to this here page of cups, some of you could be dealing with a new lover. Virgo, for some of you, your heart shock has been closed for quite some time. But I feel as though Cupid is getting ready to come in and help open that heart shocker. Because the Cupid is like aiming this bow and arrow toward you. And so what I'm seeing here is that... um. You have someone coming in with this here love offer. And from the looks of things, it's like this person is really wanting to pop the question. Almost like coming in with a serious proposal or some sort of ultimatum of holy matrimony. Like this person is really 
um, looking at the sun card, you know, really um, wanting to have this future with you, wanting to build this future, this forever more. I feel this is somebody who has spent some time alone and they're ready to settle down. This can even be somebody who was once married in their life and maybe they could be a happily divorced or they could be a widower because I'm also picking up this person could probably um <clears throat> be a widower where they could have been married and their significant other could have passed away. And so they spent some time going through a healing journey, a spiritual journey. And so now they're ready to settle down with the right person. And so I feel as though this person is viewing you as being their empress because you're coming in with the empress card. And you're also coming in with the star card. And so I have both the empress and the emperor on the table, which came out yesterday for you guys as well. And so definitely king of cups emotionally in their feelings. And then you have a king of wands here. You know, like a leader. And then the King of Pentacles with the wealth of abundance. And see, I see with the food card, somebody's ready to take a leap of faith. Three of Cups, celebration. That Ace of Pentacles with the Ten of Cups. You know, Ace of Swords. The Wheel of Fortune here to help you out. But some I also see a Knight of Wands. And so when I see the Knight of Wands, that's pretty much telling me that you got somebody who's saying, hey, I'm willing to put forth the effort to, or I'm willing to take the risk to approach you no matter how dangerous it is. So this is somebody who you probably haven't, I don't know, I'm getting kind of like a secret admirer, somebody who's been observing you from the sideline for quite some time. Maybe it could have been like a little small conversation, um, friendly But nonetheless, rushing in. And see, Virgo, with you having a queen of pentacles with the eight of wands, finally having the freedom to move forward. I feel like when it comes to your person with the eight of wands, they're ready to take fast action towards you. Now, in this situation, because I'm going to title this, Everything that glitters is not gold. And the reason why I say this is because in your past, and I'm not judging, okay, because we all have had skeletons in the closet with once upon a time, you know, been there, done that, did that, life lessons, you know what I'm saying? Life will teach us lessons, right? And it's important that we learn from those lessons to keep from repeating, you know, to keep from going through those repeated patterns and cycles. And so in your past, from what I see here, is that there could have been some major disappointment with the Five of Cups, dealing with a past person, Six of Cups, and reminiscing of the good times the two of you shared. But I feel like when it comes to this, <clears throat> throat shocker, <laughs> somebody could be trying to silence me. But um, anyway. I feel like when it comes to this past person, Six of Cups, reminiscing on the time when they felt free, reminiscing on the time when they felt happy, and they could have viewed the situation that between you and them two, you know, between the two of you guys, that they were happy, they was at peace, you made them feel a certain kind of way, you made them feel good. And so I feel like this person is going through this here major disappointment with the Five of Cups. Because with the judgment card, there was some sort of a missed opportunity between you and this past person. And so with the hangman, this person's having a hard time letting go because they feel as though they had to sacrifice everything. And yet they feel as though after sacrificing so much, they found themselves at a dead end. We had led to some sort of painful ending with the death card. And for some, that could have to do with the justice card with Libra. <coughs> And it could be where there could have been some legal issues. But this person could have been going through some sort of financial constraints. And it's very possible that this person could have um, 
been somewhat of a narcissist, someone like moving in with thieving energy. This could be somebody who was um manipulating quite a few people to get in and get out and get what they want. Because I feel as though they may have not just you know manipulated you. This could have been because this person was going through um, addictive pattern behavior because the devil card is here. So I feel this is somebody who was hiding the fact that they could have been suffering with some sort of painful addiction. And that's what led to the financial constraints. And so this person could have been possibly going around because what I'm getting here, I'm getting like somebody who was robbing people, Peter to pay Paul, political hand to mouth, mouth to hand, getting in, getting out, stealing from people to get what they want to support their habits. Seven of swords, eight of swords, definitely feeling trapped with their hands tied, feeling stuck. This is somebody with the nine of swords who couldn't sleep, feeling sleep deprived, sleep disorder, night sweats, bad dreams, nightmares. This is somebody who also could have stabbed you in the back multiple times with the ten of swords. And so you was forced to close out this cycle because, like I said, you were dealing with this here devil energy, this demonic force. Because this person definitely was coming around with this serious demonic energy attached to them. Lying, cheating, stealing to get by, drinking, smoking, getting high, hanging out with other addicts. And so... I feel as though Virgo, when it comes to this strength card, because you got the strength card here, so some of you definitely got a Leo in your birth chart. And so what I'm seeing here, Virgo, for some of you, because when it comes to your energy, you're coming in with the Empress card, you're coming in with the Star card. You're coming in with the Queen of Pentacles. And so you're coming in with this here Queen of Pentacles, the Star card, the Strength card. What I'm kind of seeing on your end, Virgo, is that you have been really working on yourself. When it comes to your own dreams, goals, hopes, and aspirations, separating yourself from things that no longer serve you. Really trying to take the time to water your garden. Like I said, I do feel as though you close out a cycle. At least you did close out one cycle with this past person because they burnt you, they burnt themselves, they burnt others. Now, like I said, when it comes to the lovers card, I see Cupid here with his bow and arrow. I see the King of Cups, King of Wands, King of Pentacles, along with the Emperor, coming your way. This new beginning, wanting to have this Two of Cups, Three of Cups celebration, Ten of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. And then what I'm looking at here is that even though I see this celebration of new beginnings and I see the Wheel of Fortune trying to help you, I see the moon card. And even though this person is coming in ready to take this leap of faith with the fool card, this moon card is telling me that somebody was definitely hiding their true emotions when it comes to how they really truly felt about you. That they may have been wearing the mask. And, cause they, and, and, and the reason for wearing the mask is because they were hiding the, their true selves. And they could have been hiding, like I said, that they had some... Uh, addictions going on in their life and that they could have been hiding the fact that they was already connected to somebody else maybe they had a baby mama maybe they was married but as time moves on i feel like this person could be in um, an unhappy situation if for the, you know for those that's still in a situation for others they could be split up and separated from their significant other they could be divorced and for some they could be a widower Now, the problem that I'm having with this is that there's nothing wrong with new beginnings, right? Especially when it comes to achieving positive goals or success. 
and climbing that ladder. But the problem that I'm having with this, and the reason why I say everything that glitters is not gold, is because for some of you, <clears throat> what I'm getting here is that um, you can very well possible have someone coming back to you with a song and a dance, you know? I miss you. I've been thinking about you. I've been asking myself how, you know, how can I approach you? What, you know, what do I need to say? What, you know, what can I say? Um, allow me to apologize by simply saying I'm sorry, you know, but I really have been thinking about you, longing for you, you know, and I know I can't just come rushing in with a song and a dance. And I feel like you and this person may go out for like a coffee date, maybe lunch. You know, this person might say, well, you know, why don't we go grab a bite to eat? We could do lunch. We could do breakfast, whatever the case may be. But I just really want to sit down and have a conversation with you. And I want to talk, you know, how, you know, when can we get together and have this conversation, you know, between you and I, sit down and really talk about it and discuss some things because I feel like we didn't get closure. And I feel like this person wants you to hear them out. This person is ready to confess. And for some, this person may tell you, well, you know, the truth is I was going through some issues, some problems in my life where, you know, I was married, kids, baby mama, baby daddy. Others, it could be, well, you know, I was locked up and I was being hard-headed. I was doing crazy shit. I was young, you know, just doing stupid shit. But I feel as though when I got locked up, I learned a lot. It gave me some time to really reflect and look at the bigger picture. And, you know, I've been out for such and such amount of time. I've been through a recovery program. I've been clean now for such and such amount of time. I mentor younger youths. I feel like they're going to tell you, you know. So I've been clean now for such and such amount of time. And I got me a little job. I got my own little place. You know, I got my own little woofie. And so this is what I'm doing right now. And I'm just looking to, like, start my life over on the right path. You know, I've been going to church. They're going to give you some shit like that. You know, a song and a dance. And I ain't saying it's not true. You know, I'm not saying it's not true. But what I'm saying is that, Virgo, you being the therapist, you know, the empress, the counselor, the mother, the godmother, you know, people often come to you with their problems or they either talk to you about their problems because they feel like you are somebody who they could speak to. They view you as being a positive role model, and that's a beautiful thing. And we're going we're off and jumping, you know, we're quick to jump on a bandwagon when you're just like, you know what, when I see you looking good, you know, you look healthy, you smell good, you know, you're saying all the right shit, you know, let's take it real slow, one day at a time, you know, let's just see how it's going to go. And in the beginning, everything is ice cream, candy, and cookies. You know, you just spend a little bit of time together, dating or whatever have you, going on little movie dates out there, whatever have you. And, you know, you might be thinking, okay, well, if this person really has changed and we, we seem to be good together and this is something that I always wanted. And then I feel like this is a situation for some where everything will start out good at the beginning. And you may end up, you know, well, why don't we take it, you know, let's let's find a place where you can stay with me or I can stay with you. And I feel like once the two of you actually move together and you sign the contract and that deed is done, <clears throat> four weeks are going to pass, six weeks, eight weeks are going to pass. And somewhere between two to three months, this person is going to start showing you signs of their true colors because they're going to get comfortable. They're going to feel as though they got your trust. You know, and they're going to put on this facade as being loyal and faithful and giving and caring and considerate to you. But then once they get comfortable, this person is going to go out and relapse and they're going to start using again. And then once they start using, they're going to start lying and cheating and stealing. And they're going to find themselves in a situation where this person is going to start stealing from you to support their habit. That's for some of y'all. And so definitely proceed with caution. You know, think before leaping. Because like I said, the devil card is here. And so even though you got the king of cups and the king of pentacles and the king of wands and the emperor and all this shit is looking good, you know, with the emperor, with the uh, Aries and, and Gemini and Pisces. For some, it could be a Leo. 
you got Capricorn here. You have to proceed with caution because you have to understand, Virgo, you have some new changes that are going to come into play. You got new beginnings coming into play. So, therefore, you're getting ready to create and step into this new chapter, this new beginning of your life. And often in life, when you got these changes coming in, that's when obstacles of distraction also comes in. And when it seems like everything is going good in your life and you're happy, you know, you got the new job, the new place, some of you could be getting ready to move, you know, saved up your little coins, you know, you're doing kind of good, you're stable, you maintain it, and then all of a sudden, here comes this new love interest, and you're like, you know what, this really seems like it's going to work. And then shit goes backwards. You understand what I'm saying? You know, and then us being, I'm a Virgo. So, yeah, we tend to over, you know, we tend to overanalyze shit. You know, we, we cross our, we cross our T's, we dot our I's. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I think about everything. And then, of course, like I said, me being, you know, being this, uh, me having this gift. I pick up on things very easily, very quickly. I read between the fine print. I see through the shit I can't see through. And I'm not going to tell you nothing that I wouldn't tell my damn self. Because I am a Virgo. So yeah, Virgo, this is an energy that I see. Like I said, for some of you, this could be a past person. Because you have a little bit of everything here. You have Pisces. You have Scorpio. You have... Libra, you have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, you have Pisces, Scorpio, you have Aries, Leo, if I didn't say it, Gemini, if I didn't say it, I also feel like you got strong Taurus, so when it comes to, uh, when it comes to, um, spiritual tradition this person can definitely come off but especially if they know that you're spiritual this can also be somebody who might come to you and play that you know they're in the church they're in the christ you know they've been saved they've been baptized born again they're in the lord's house they read their bible quote the scriptures all that all that you know so we're going to kind of leave it there on that no, hopefully you received something from this. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, feel free to book a reading. We can go deeper if need be. Um, I'm always available for private readings Friday, Saturday, Sunday, every other Thursday. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so like I said, new energy, new energy, old energy. But this is what I'm getting, okay? Because like I said, yes, I do see the Two of Cups, the Page of Cups, Ten of Cups, you know, Fool card, Three of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. I see that. The Lovers. I see that. Sun card. You know, like I said, King of Cups, King of Wands, King of Pentacles. I see that. Ace of Swords. I see that. Wheel of Fortune. You know, the Empress, the Emperor, the Star card. You know, I see all that shit, right? But then you also got the Devil card. And then when it comes to that damn Knight of Wands, the Knight of Wands get bored very easy. They get in and get out. You feel me? Um, and this is a situation where you're going to have to think first and you're going to have to be strong. And you're going to have to really learn how to speak up and defend yourself because a closed mouth don't get fed. And you definitely don't want nobody cornering you trying to run mind games and tell you what you want to hear. Because even though you got all these good cards, <laughs> you're dealing with somebody, like I said, past person, disappointments, five of cups, judgment, missed opportunities. Hangman, Death Card, Justice Card, Four of Swords, Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords. With that Devil Card and the World Card close another cycle, it is what it is. It speaks for itself. So with that being said, Vergs, I'm out of here because it's now going 25 minutes into this reading. All right, you guys, as always, one love, peace, God bless.